Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 52. First one of the new year of 2015. Woohoo. Isn't this something supposed to happen in 2015? Like, isn't this like Back to the Future's future or something like that? Back to the Future 2 future? I don't know. Whatever. Um, <laughs> you laugh, but I think it's true. I have to go back and watch I, movies. I, I want to say you're right. I say you're right. <laughs> it's always seems so far away. And here we are without flying cars. Anyway, um, it's always my comment about the future. But and we might have self-lacing shoes. So That's, oh, right, self-lacing shoes. That was a thing, right? And the hoverboard? Yeah. I think I saw Tony Hook riding a, riding a hoverboard and something and not being the person to fall down like everybody else that tried was. Of course, he's pretty much a, a badass on skateboard. So um, anyway, that's neither here nor there. There today we're talking about we're doing triage. We're going to talk about the R2 release because we kind of put that on pause at the end of last year, and then we'll go through our typical questions, comments for the few of you that are here. Thank you for showing up, guys. Always good to see you. Um, as soon as I saw John on the meeting, before I was on the meeting, I knew we had quorum. We're good. Um, as always, these meetings are recorded for those people that are unable to be here. Um, and you'll notice this is meeting 52, meeting 51. We didn't have a video just for those of you that were looking for it. Um, I wasn't here. I was off uh, welcoming a new baby into the world, which was pretty exciting. Um, and Bob didn't push the right button. So um, without further ado, I think triage, right, Bob? I am ready for triage. Triage! Da -da -da. I don't have to record it. Ten issues. Ten issues. Which is, I don't know if that's a lot. Hey, look, I've lost my mouse cursor. Yeah. I really don't like it when it does that. Now I can't see anything. Uh, I need to just select one. All right, we're going to take this one first, and then I'll be able to, I think, <laughs> tab through. Pyro, object reference not set to instance. Oh, this sucks. Oh, all right, cool. They provided the information we need to go fix this. Pretty much. All right. Awesome. We should fix that. Media template not handling patching. Oh, that's not good, is it? Um, yeah, no, not really. Although I think it's more, you know, pyro not uh, understanding media template than the other way around. But Yes, I'm, I'm sure. All right, cool. Um, well, we're not taking it 3.9. No. Um, hmm. Well, we've already bent the rule a couple of times about taking stuff into a particular release without without someone, you know, picking it up. You think this is bad enough to do that? Um, it, it seems it seems pretty bad. Not very good, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd like to get this fixed in 310. Um, but you are afraid to commit to it. I am definitely afraid to commit to it. Uh, are you kidding, dude? It's in pyro and <laughs> and patching and <laughs> fun, fun binder land. Um, hey, you I, know, I'll, Peter said he might take a bug. Maybe we should give him this one. Oh, yes. We have a bug for Peter. Uh, um, but he's not signed up. Let, let's try. So let's put it in 310 and let's try to give it to Peter. All right, that'll work. Um, and see if he'll 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 come out of a retirement and, <laughs> and and take a bug. We'll see if he still has some free time. Um, if not, I agree with you. It'd be great to have this in 310 if someone could pick it up. If not, yeah. Him. Worst case, I'll put it into 310 and worst case, you know, someone will. We'll triage it, it in the future and we'll all stare at that bug, going, "Man, really should get that bug fixed." Yep. Okay then. All right, let's see if I have my... All right, I have my tabbing was working. Yay for the keyboard. Improve .NET package groups. Provide authoring for .NET ISV offline redist. Add variable to make repair optional. Yeah, right now if you repair a bundle that includes one of the .NET package groups that we ship currently, uh -huh. it repairs .NET, which is very rarely what you want. Yeah, I could probably, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, uh, so, yeah, 3x, I think it's fine. Someone wants to take it, seems reasonable. Yeah. Burn duplicates auto-generate XE package cache ID. Ah, yeah, no, this is known. You can't put the same executable into a burn bundle today. You'll get these problems. 
is it this problem or these problems? Mm, this well, the it probably should do a better. There should be an error message probably in the binder that tells you, "Hey, you're doing this. Don't do that." Um, and things like that. And then one could argue that we could allow you to run the same executable multiple times inside your um, bundle. Although essentially, it probably means you're running a custom action executable and not actually installing something, which yeah, is definitely. kind of goofy in and of itself. Um, so, so yes, this is this is a known bug, and I think the the big fix, the first fix, is to have an error so you don't get into a weird state. Like you don't do this and have really weird things happen and go, what's going on? Yeah, it's caching things funny. Um, well, is, is sorry, I guess is it just the caching that's problematic, or yes, are you going to run into other? Problems. No, I think it's just caching. I think it ends up just writing the executable over top the cache, and then when it cleans up cache and all kinds of other things, it gets confused about stuff. Okay, so ideally, well, first level is detect duplicate cache IDs. Yes. Well, and honestly, we should do that anyway, right? Yeah, yeah. You can author the cache ID. I don't know why we let you do that. Probably is an escape hatch, but... Um, but yeah, we probably should detect and go, oh, yeah, you have two cache IDs. That's never going to be what you want. <laughs> two packages in the same bundle with the same cache ID? Mm -hmm. Not going to work out right. the way you hope. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting because, well, because you can author cache ID, it, it allows you to put in the same... Um, the same package more than once which is of questionable goodness. Yes, yeah, so it's always been of questionable goodness that we allow you to author the cache ID. Like I said, yeah, I, think right, right. a, I think it was an escape hatch because we were afraid that, you know, well, we're generating something that is stable across multiple bundles and yada, yada, yada. Right. Although, honestly, letting people change it probably is not a good idea either. Anyway, that, that's yeah. <laughs> there's the design point, and we can debate the merits of it, but... Certainly detecting the same cache ID in the bundle, whether we allow it to be authored or not, would be a good check to have. Yes, agreed. So I think that's what this bug should be about, first and foremost. And then okay. you know, we can talk about the feature to allow the same executable to be in the same bundle multiple times and what that means and how that should be thought about and so on and so forth. Yeah, I mean, ideally, if we want to support it, then we want you to, we only want to cache it once. Uh, blah, blah, blah. If I don't we know. want to allow it. I don't know if we want to cache it once, because a lot of times people end up tossing a different file in with the executable. It's like the, the executable plus some config file or something. Anyway. Oh, ew. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Non-trivial things yeah. go on from there. Anyway, so it needs to be thought about. But the fix, I th the, the first fix is, hey, look, that cache ID has already been used. Error. Right. Here's where the other one was. Duplicate detection on cache IDs. Da, 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 da. That's the bug. Okay, that works. Cool. Cool. Um, we can put it, I don't know where you want to put it, but it is a real bug. Yeah, 3x. Okay. Several pre initialized built in properties do not resolve when used in an MSI property values. Really? Yes. Um, this oh, is my duplicate. bug. Except my bug's better. Um, <laughs> fine, I'm fine if you want to do it the other way around. I don't care. Uh, well, basically because I figured out an important bit, which is uh, um, <laughs> Sean thanks, exceeded Sean. your point. <laughs> I'll give you that. Well, of course my bug is better. I mean, come on. <laughs> the English um, alone. Well, actually, there's not a lot of English. It was mostly figuring out what happened. Um, okay. Basically, it sounds the, like a bug. I'm, I don't. I don't need to know what the bug. I agree with you, especially since there are two of them open on it. The question yeah, is, where should right. we fix it? Um. Uh, I don't know. This. Uh, I don't know if it's a big deal. Uh, I. I. I didn't. I got as far as figuring out that. Uh, it was. Uh, the real problem is that we're we're initializing it once but not passing it over to the elevated process. Oh. That's that's why it doesn't resolve. Oh, okay. And but at the same time I'm 
I was not at all clear why some of these things are built in and initialized to to you know null or empty, um, but others aren't. And I wasn't sure if that and that has something to do with the bug as well. And I just I wasn't sure why that happened. And I think I found where everything's piped over, but I was like, uh, okay, uh, I'm missing some context, so I didn't want to you know try to fix it. Well, that's different. Yes. You could still want to try to fix it. You just need more input to do so. That's one option. Another thing is... Yes. I'm trying to figure out, does this go in 3x or is it going in 3.10? Is someone going to try to, try to fix it or not? Um, I would like to try to fix it. I think All right, it's... cool. Put in 3.10 in that, and we will be able to help you find the way through all those answers that you have, because I certainly don't know off the top of my head. <laughs> We'll have to go back and look at the code for a while. That works. Sean may know off the top of his head. He's been in that code more recently than I have. Um, all right, cool. That makes that easy. With the exception that I just gave myself a bug. Still easy. <sighs> Make .NET assembly title available and binder variable. Standard, another standard assembly property that we don't pull? Yeah, okay. Right. Sounds fine. I don't mind. Oh, we probably don't pull it because we don't need it. Right. Yes. Yeah, a lot of the, the binder variables and such, that was... Um, we needed some, so we grabbed them. And now people are going, ooh, this is actually really handy. Uh, it's not a bad feature. We'll have to go figure out a way that's not dumb in doing it. Like, yeah. here, let me get all the titles, and you didn't want most of them, and we just wasted the whole time doing all that, so let's not do that. Right. But we'll find something. But seems like a reasonable thing to do in 3X. It's not breaking. Yep. Cool. Use ETW logging initial tracing. This is for the whip. 4X. Yep. yep, I'm all for that. Put it in 4X. Sounds great to have ETW solved. ETW is kind of goofy, but or at least when I used it way back when in in Vista, it had some crazinesses to it, which is why we've never used it for our stuff. But anyway, if we can come up with a good thing and there's a whip, that's all great. I'm all for using ETW because I did like various aspects of it, like the fact that you could hook it in XPerf info and get like performance data of what the bundle is doing or what you know whatever you're doing with regards to also like disk IO and so you could say hey we were doing this and then this guy goes crazy and you're like oh those two things may be correlated yes uh, it's kind so of the cool. correlation is really really nice yes package DTF binaries as NuGet packages separate NuGet well yeah so I already can take this and you can put this in 4.0 because it's just a matter of finishing a few th I have to get my trust level up on the, the the NuGet packages, and then we will be publishing them. And DTF is on my list after I got the after I got the um uh, the Wix ones. So I'll take those in 4.0. All right. Now how many packages are we gonna end up with? I don't know. Um, I wanted to do them for dutil um, and then WCA util, so yeah. you could get them for C++, but C++ NuGet is really kind of crazy, but man, it would be nice to have it. Um, yeah. But I, I have to go back and talk to Garrett about all the stuff that he did in his world. Um, and what else? Uh, and what you know where they got to with native code. Um, in the end with NuGet. Um, oh, then there's, oh, there's the tools, the Wix tool set itself that you can get. That already mm -hmm. exists. That's already being built, rather. And we've been testing it at FireGiant, and we've been actually really happy with it. So that's why I'm like, at this point, I have to decide when to pull the trigger. Um, and most of it is uh, around, believe it or not, versioning. I haven't decided what we're going to do about versioning, which leads us back to a conversation Bob and I were having a while ago about semantic versioning and yada yada. So anyway, I'm going to bring all this back eventually once I decide how I'm going to solve versioning um, here, because I may have some, you know, I have some decisions to make. Um, and then there's, so there's DTF, there's the list toolset itself, there's whatever we want to do for the native things. And then we start getting into the, do we start publishing the Wix extensions as NuGet packages? But I think that's not in four. I think that's a future kind of thing. 
but Heath brought up the somewhere on the mailing list the idea of the the old idea again that maybe he'll go do this time or someone will do of going into NuGet and teaching NuGet about the different versions of major versions of Wix, which then means we could ship the extensions. Um, oh, right. as NuGet packages that, such that you know you release it in the three one, the four one, and all that kind of stuff's all in there, and yada yada yada. So I mean that'd be cool if all that work gets done, but I have too much way too much work to do to go spend time inside NuGet. Um, you have to go into NuGet to do it, into the client, and I'm just not right. I'm not there right now. So if someone else wants to do it, that'd be cool. Keith said he wanted to go do it, so or he expressed interest in it, so it'd be fine if he does it. If someone else wants to do it. There was somebody else that did actually the work to um, just make it so Wix lips can be done inside. You know, can talk to the Wix project or something like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, that's great. yeah. But yeah. Oh, oh, John did that. Oh, well, if John wanted to go finish it, that'd be cool. But whatever. Anyway, not designing that feature. So what do we get in the end? I don't know. We'll see what we get in the end. But DTF is just a bunch of C sharp. So that should be straightforward to do. Um, the native code I'd like to do because it'd be a much better way of shipping to util and reusing it. Right. Um, and then um, the tool set itself already is done. It's just a matter of publishing. So I have to get the publishing story together. So honestly, the bulk of the problem is publishing, which comes down to versioning, which I just have to sit down and decide, mostly. So that's why that bug should be assigned to me. Done. Long answer to that. Um, adding Windows Installer XML Setup Project to a Visual Studio solution for dynamic CRM fails. Cool. So their project system does something wrong. That mm, makes yeah, maybe. MPF unhappy. Probably make Python tools unhappy, too. Actually, no, they've changed MPF enough. It might not. Maybe like the F-sharp project, too. But anyway, yeah, be cool. Someone should fix that. Either they should fix it or we should fix it. I don't know who. So yeah, this is not no installer that is votive. <coughs> this yep. is not installer that is votive and should go in 3x, and someone should fix that. I don't do votive, so yes. <laughs> File share fails to create a network share for a whole drive. Okay. You're not supposed to do that, are you? I don't. Well, you sure you can, right? Isn't the C drive shared out by default on all machines or something? The system drive. Yeah, that's the what do they call it? The admin share. Yeah, the admin share. I forget. Anyway. Um. Cool. Sounds like that should get fixed. That could go in three X, I think. Right? That should be backwards compatible. Yeah. Yeah, I agree should be able to be fixed in a way that is backwards compatible. Let's say it that way. <laughs> they could screw it up and add a backslash everywhere and then make everything broken. That would not be the right way to fix it. I, I think we agree on that. add Wix bundle name to confirm cancel message. Oh. Uh, yeah, we localize it, but we don't format it. Yeah, all right, cool. That could be fixed in 3x. And that should be in... Uh, extensions. Extensions. We go Wix standard BA, burn, Wix standard BA. Cool, we're done. Triage in. I didn't look when we started. Shoot, let's go back and watch the video. Yeah, uh, anyway. triage in. Not more than twenty minutes, right? Definitely. All right. We two after. We start. Yeah. Oh, so it's less than that. It's probably fifteen. Yeah. About. Plus, I babbled a lot at the beginning of this one, like I am now. <laughs> you guys are all entertaining me. All right, on to exciting things that we should discuss. 3.9 R2. At this point, I get quiet and Bob starts talking. Does he now? Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, Rob, can you open those bugs? Oh, maybe. Sorry. If you want me to do that, let me just go. Yes, I can. What's the other number? Mostly, I just, we can talk about oh eight. N09. Yep. Oh, 8 N09. Brr, all right. All right. So we've had no feedback on 4600. Um, my hope is that it's a straightforward enough fix. And that worked. That that you know it's it can be stat, static validation will work. 
So uh, I could go mean and go, look, we, we sent you mail a couple times, and if it's still not fixed, then it'll go into 310. To, to Fire Giant? You want, mm-hmm. me to, you want me to yell at Fire no, Giant? No, no, no. Marco Magic, like that guy, he should have got mail too. True. Well, he's referencing. Okay, he was the one who opened forty six oh one. All right. That's right. Um, oh well, yes. I also uh, sent that same note on forty six oh one. Yes. Good. So he's gotten a couple mails. <laughs> yep. Okay. And and if he hasn't verified it and whatever, then we'll be like, cool. We'll pick it up in three ten. There you go. Um. 4608, uh, we got someone who confirmed the fix. And likewise in 4609, thank you, John. All right. So we're actually doing, we're doing really well. On the verification. Yeah. Okay. Uh, So I don't see any need to, you know, we're not going to do another build. We're just going to kind of sit and wait um, oh, that's right. The build's done. I don't have any more work to do. Huh, huh, huh. Yeah, build's done. I, I have to do a little bit of website update, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, sw- yeah, swap bits over. Um, we do have... All- oh, wait, yeah, yeah. So the, the bits are uploaded, but invisible. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. Thanks, John. Yeah, that's good. It, it, it's uh, like the other person asked in 4608, I think. Like, it should be, you know, even better than 3.9 RTM, so. Certainly doesn't seem to be worse. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bully on us. Uh, so, I think uh, the date I put in there originally was January 21st. Um, assuming we do a build... Uh, sometime that that week, or release activities sometime that week. Mm, yeah, it shouldn't matter. You should be able to download the R2, put it up on CodePlex, do all that rigmarole, yeah. keep it hidden, and then the rest of it is just changing some pointers inside the site and then publishing right. that. So we don't actually need a release to do any of this. Well, yeah, that's fair. But so... Fiddling with all the uploads. Yeah, CodePlex uploads. That's, that's independent, so. But, yeah. And I don't, truthfully, yeah. Truthfully, I don't see any reason to, to hesitate, you know. I think I might actually make the CodePlex release, you know, over the next week or so, and then we can just pull the trigger on the 21st. Sounds great to me. Yeah, I would do that. All right. So, yeah. Get the thing uploaded and sitting there silently until where you've got all the other ducks in a row to yeah. pull it all at the same time, so it doesn't look kind of weird. Just to avoid confusion, since we might already create some confusion with this. Possibly, yes. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, we don't even... On the website, all we have to do is point the new stable release, right? That's right. We're not going yes. to make that build visible. Mm-mm. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. The magic of redirects. Yeah, uh, right. And we had the system in place for it all to work. I'm really happy so far. I've been happy yeah. with it. Despite what we had to do here, it was not actually that bad on the, the back end. Yeah. So, all right. yeah. well, I don't think then, we'll ever make this particular thing a, a weekly release. We'll just, you know, carry on. Yeah. Yeah, I'll just grab the bits for CodePlex. Yep. All right, all cool. Right. I think we're ready. So the 21st is still what we're targeting, just as the final announcement, but we'll have it all ready to go and and hang out just in case for some reason that help thing comes back in the last minute or something. Maybe the guy's right, on vacation. Right. All right. Anything else? No? No? Half hour meeting? I'm okay with that in the new year. Small group. Bruce John Sean. No? All right. Well, seems pretty good. I think... Hopefully things will slowly get back to normal around here. I'm obviously drowning in everything that is over here, including sleep deprivation. So that's all good. Um, I, I think the net result is that I owe Sean 
a significant number of pull request reviews, but I'm working on it. Um, well, it's in my queue anyway. I have not forgotten. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. Well, how am I take my Mac? You got anything else, Bob? Uh, no, I was just looking at uh, pull requests. I have, I think, basically one outstanding. Um, thereabouts. I'll get to that shortly. Um, yeah. yeah. That's about it for me. Okay, cool. Uh, maybe in the not too distant future, we'll talk about you know releases and stuff like that. Like, what are we doing for 3.10? What are we doing for 4.0? Come up with our plans on that kind of thing now that we're yeah. in here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Discuss, you know, what we're thinking. Um, if not next time, the time after that, definitely. We'll just see how life proceeds from here. How much <laughs> I get caught up on things. Um, all right. On that note, I think we're good. As always, you guys have a wonderful day, weekend, and all those kinds of things. And uh, until next time, we'll see you. Bye now. <laughs>